Buckeye candy always reminds me of the holidays. It's something that mom made every single year. The recipe is so incredibly easy. It only takes a few minutes. You don't have to bake anything and they're absolutely delicious. Welcome to the Salt and Pepper, where we cook for real life using real food and we keep it real simple. Today's recipe is super easy to make. You just need a hand mixer, a little bowl, and a few ingredients, and you will be whipping up some incredible Buckeyes. If you're not familiar with what a Buckeye is, it's basically a peanut butter ball that is dipped in chocolate, but not all the way because you want to have a little bit of that peanut butter peeking through so that it resembles the Buckeye nut. You want to use either your stand mixer or a medium-sized bowl and an electric hand mixer is gonna make it really easy for you. You're gonna put in one cup of peanut butter. Now, I recommend using uh, creamy peanut butter and I really recommend for the best results using like a Jif or some Peter Pan kind of peanut butter, okay? Natural peanut butters tend to be a little bit more uh, oily. If you wanna use them, mix it really, really well so that the peanut butter incorporates into the powdered sugar and you may find that you need a little bit more powdered sugar. All right, next thing is a quarter cup or four tablespoons of salted butter, but you could use unsalted. Either way is perfectly fine. A quarter teaspoon of fine grind sea salt or kosher salt, either one's fine. Half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract there. And now we're gonna whip this up to get it blended and then we will add in our powdered sugar. All right, perfect. Add about a third of the powdered sugar at a time. This is one and a quarter cups of powdered sugar. Mix on low speed so that you don't end up with a powdered sugar storm. Okay, now I wanna stop right here because I wanna show you the consistency. Because if you get to this point, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I added too much powdered sugar. It's gonna look really crumbly, okay? But that is perfectly fine. Just keep on blending it on low speed and it's gonna to come together in a nice, smooth texture. All right, once you have everything incorporated, now go ahead and go up on your speed to medium just for about 30 seconds, and then we'll be ready to form the peanut butter balls. All right, there we go, perfect. Now, I will say a couple of things, okay? I made this recipe yesterday, and it was really rainy yesterday and it was a little bit thinner of a mixture. It's a little bit stiffer today, which is actually gonna be better. It was, they were, the peanut butter um, mixture was a little bit soft yesterday. That has to do with the humidity. So try to make your candies on a dry day if you can, okay? It's much easier to do when it's low humidity out. Mom used to always wait until, like she would look at the weather forecast and on the coldest day, that she could get within a week period is when we would make the Buckeyes because she would make tray after tray after tray after tray of them. I'm talking hundreds and hundreds of Buckeyes. And we would have to cool them because these are gonna go in the refrigerator for a little bit. And we didn't have that much space in our refrigerator. So mom would put them on sheet trays and put them outside and it needed to be really cold so that they would chill down. Now I'm gonna put mine in the refrigerator because it happens to be 70 degrees outside today, so that's not gonna work for refrigeration. All right, now we've got our mixture here. What I like to do is take a spatula and just sort of kind of pull it all together just to make sure it's all mixed, but it is, it looks really good. Okay, there we go. That is our peanut butter mixture. Now, one of the things that's a little bit different about my recipe versus some other recipes that you may have made in the past is mine uses a lot less powdered sugar um, compared to the amount of peanut butter. So I've seen like cups and cups and cups of uh, powdered sugar going in with just a cup or a cup and a half of peanut butter. I don't like mine that sweet. I like them to be peanut buttery. So I like that flavor to come through. So this ratio of ingredients works really well for me. Another thing is if you wanted to make them with a powdered sugar swerve, you absolutely can do that. Okay, so if you wanted to cut out the, the sugar, uh, the powdered sugar that I use, just use powdered sugar swerve. It works really well. 
All right, now your peanut butter still has sugar in it if you're gonna use the Jif kind, but we're definitely bringing those, that sugar down. And that's not always true with every candy that you can substitute the swerve in, but you can with this, okay? So or any powdered sugar type of sugar substitute should be fine as long as it will thicken up the mixture. All right, now let's get our tray ready, which I already have done. This is a sheet pan. You can use any size you want. Make sure whatever size you're gonna use or, or multiple ones, because you could do it on more than one uh, pan. Make sure that you have a place in your refrigerator to put them if you don't live somewhere where it's gonna be super cold when you make them, because they do need to chill before we dip them. This makes about 30 Buckeyes, okay? So you can, you can double, triple, quadruple the recipe. You could cut it in half if you just wanted to try it out. So anything works, just um, increase and decrease the ingredients accordingly. I'm using a tablespoon scoop. This one's from Pampered Chef, but you could use a regular tablespoon, anything to measure out about a tablespoon size. That's how big we make them. Now, of course, you could make them bigger if you wanted to. Now roll them between the palms of your hand so that they get nice and smooth and beautiful. In fact, it's really interesting. I'm seeing these today and I'm gonna show you mine from yesterday. The surface of the peanut butter is not nearly as smooth on the ones that I made yesterday and that's because it was softer because we had uh, more humidity. So these are gonna actually turn out much better. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, repeat this process for all of the peanut butter mixture, and then we'll pop them into the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Our Buckeyes were in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. The chocolate is melted. I'm using the Ninja Foodi as my double boiler and I'm using it on keep warm to keep the chocolate at the perfect temperature for dipping. If you wanna see that video, I will link to it below this one so you can check that out in case you wanna know exactly how I set it all up. Now, what you wanna do is have about five or 10 toothpicks, or you could put toothpicks in all of them, but you know, I learned this from my mom, and my mom is very frugal, so she would not use all those toothpicks. She would recycle, and that's what we're gonna to do today. So stick a toothpick about three quarters of the way down into the Buckeye, dip them into your chocolate just so they are about three quarters of the way covered, and you have that little bit of peanut butter sticking out. You might want to do like a little assembly line, pull your parchment line tray that you're going to put the dipped Buckeyes up here on your cutting board. Once you shake the excess off, you can even drag it if you want. Put it down. It should warm up enough that the toothpick kind of comes out and then you can just sort of smooth over the toothpick hole. You can do that now or you could do that after they set up a little bit. Sometimes I'll use a knife. I'm not gonna worry about it. My mom never did that. She always just left them like that and I think it's fine. All right, you're gonna repeat that for all of the Buckeyes and then pop them back into the refrigerator to set up, firm up, but just for about 30 minutes. All right, so after the dipped Buckeyes are in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, they are good to go. You can serve them. I do recommend storing these in the refrigerator or what my mom used to do is pop them into the freezer, let them freeze solid, and then put them into plastic bags, zip them up, and anytime we wanted a little peanut butter and chocolate treat, we would just grab one out. They are absolutely delicious and they are beautiful. Mmm. Better than Reese's peanut butter cups, I tell you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The peanut butter flavor comes through because I lowered the ratio of powdered sugar. But that means they're a little bit softer than a traditional Buckeye candy might be. So if you wanted to have them firm up, because let's say you're going to a party and you're gonna need them to sit at room temperature, you know, for several hours. Maybe add another half of a cup of powdered sugar to make it a little bit stiffer. They won't be so uh, soft, but they also will be a little bit sweeter. So for me, these are perfect. Mm.